what's up everyone um, up and at it early this morning I'm at the uh, at a chicken farm my truck's getting loaded right now and there's a creek here so I figured I would uh, come down here and check it out down here Russellville Alabama we're gonna see what we find um, not many bottles come from here so we're gonna see if we find anything out here maybe one of the old farmers back in the day dumped a bottle I need to hit a big one. Try not to get wet because I've got to drive back. So let's see if we can do all this without getting wet and look for bottles at the same time. Last time I walked one of these creeks, I really didn't find nothing. It's probably going to be the same way today. But we're still gonna we'll walk up here. Want to walk above the creek? And then we'll get on the other side and I'll walk back down this way. But I'd love to find a Russellville Hutch. I don't want to get off in the water. But we will definitely get off in the water today if uh, there's one in here. We have no, I have no problem doing it. water deep too but for three or four thousand dollars I'll get off in there I just had to suck it up there is a bottle bad as plastic y'all check out these saw briars right here I'm about to walk around the edge here I'm still gonna look off right here that plastic bottle is right uh, you can't see it because of the glare well, we're gonna get on down here it's our shallowing out down here I'm gonna get around all these saw briars I know I'm going a little bit quick, but this water, water, yeah, it's shallow right here and it's clear. I know y'all can't tell too well because of the glare. But I would love to pull a bottle out while I'm filming for y'all to see. <clears throat> right now it's currently uh, high 40s, lower 50s. And then it deepens up. I could climb over on that bank. Get over on that side. I may do that. First piece of glass. Something newer. And there's a bone right there. 
That is a big bone. That is a real bone of a cow. If I can cross this, I'm killing myself. I did it. I did it. Can't believe it, but I did it. Now that I've got up here, y'all can see that's the chicken farm up there. And uh, he's loading my loading my truck, but he stopped. Hope the equipment ain't down. But if it is, guess what? I can record a little bit longer. I might be able to go back up the creek. I just gotta figure out a way to get around the bob wire. Oh, no, he started back up. As you can see, this water is crystal clear. We're almost at the end of this. And then I'll probably do another video for the other side of the creek. Everything y'all see is pretty much live. I don't have an editing uh, program. Uh, my laptop went down on me. So everything y'all see is what I see. Ain't nothing cut out, stick together, nothing like that. There's some more glass though. It is some good news. That was actually a piece to a mason. What is this? I have no idea what that was. Whatever it was, it was big. I would love the bottle guys to bless me today. I'll look this over. Real good. All through here. We're actually going to step over this one to get to the other side of that one. I say step, more like jump. Now I really want to get to that side. We're going to look right through here though. There's a piece of iron over there. I'm really not interested. In... There's cows up through here and bulls. I'm really not interested in getting tore up today by no cow or a bull. And then the water gets deep. So we're not gonna try it. We're gonna look right here though, cause we are at, we are at a bridge. It would have to be a shown up bottle. Let me get off of that though. All of these one bottle, I ain't asking for much. Just one bottle. That's all. Yeah, one stinking bottle. 
there's another bone i don't know if y'all can see that laid up under the water right there right in the middle of the screen right with it right before that rip on that rock and we're actually gonna go down right here because i've got to get on that side Oh. And I'm gonna walk this side now, that way I can look in that bank. I'm gonna stay on this side the whole way up. I think I walked down here. Yeah, we've Guys, I'll take a moment, make sure y'all subscribe um, and share this video. This is a pretty new channel. The more subscribers I get, the better we can grow this channel. And the better film quality we will get. <clears throat> I make zero money off these videos. Somebody asked me the other day, so how much you make per video? I don't. I'm not uh, monetized. I don't have enough subscribers. I don't have, you got to have 4,000 video hours. Um, there's a lot you got to do to get paid um, for people watching your videos. Um, a year ago would have been a different story. Um, there was less requirements and they just recently changed it. Um, they changed a lot. Um, during the selection, they changed, uh, they took some videos down from me. Uh, I did a COVID video and uh, YouTube did not agree with it. Um, they put a strike on my account. Um, so you only get three strikes before they, they ban you. Uh, three strikes within 90 days of each other. Um, and then they just banned you all, all together. They take your channel down. So I've had to tighten up uh, anything that has to do with Donald Trump. Uh, I've got a video on here um, on my channel. It, it hit 20,000 views in the first day. And um, they decided they didn't like it. I think I've had five views uh, in a month now. So that's uh youtube playing politics so i've had to tighten up and quit you know quit doing anything with politics i took all my other videos down that had anything to do with politics and uh we're gonna stick to one thing history old bottles abandoned buildings ghost towns stuff like that there won't, there won't be no more politics or any, the only reason I hadn't removed that video is because um, it's got so many likes and I don't think they're going to do anything because it's not a bad narrative. I know y'all can't see it, but there's an insulator right there. Maybe you can. Like hold still in the... It's right there. It's a white screw-in insulator. We're looking in the banks, see if anything's in them. Good little spot for a bottle to be hiding. I don't know if I can walk across that. But this will walk around it. 
that's a leg breaker right there there's a lot of them here I can't believe he doesn't have them filled in with having cows As you can see his cows come all through here that is very surprising we're gonna take a view of this over here from this angle really would love to see a bottle come on now Ooh, if I fall y'all probably hear me lose my religion I'm gonna go back over this one more time this little area right here this is where I originally got in the creek at and it is slick And this is where one farmer meets the other farmer land at. Has a nice deep spot. Good bottle catch. I don't think I can get through that bob wire. He's got that pretty much locked down pretty good. Anybody want breakfast? I'm not sure I've ever seen that much bob wire on one spot. That's crazy. Anybody need a fertilizer? This is the spot right here. Y'all look at this. All up through here. I'm gonna check this fence line because evidently this is a property line. A lot of people loved up dumping on property lines. That was for sure. So we'll look around some of these old trees. There's a graveyard that I've been meaning to do a video on that is from the 1800s. Um, and the church was built in the 1800s and still stands to this day. Y'all check out that old barn up there. pretty neat that's pretty neat too but I'm gonna walk up here there's another little dish line up here I look at everything um, when I go to places just for the simple fact that you never know You know, this, this little stream could have been here a hundred years ago. And uh, they tried filling it in with trash. And it washed out by now. You just never know. I doubt it. But I always check. Now I really doubt it because now we're on solid rock bedrock at that well I hope everyone enjoyed am I still zoomed in yes I was I apologize for that 
did not realize it was still zoomed in this is how big a chicken house is a lot of people don't realize how big they are that's what keeps them cool swamp coolers that is over a football field long matter of fact I think it's 500 foot deep to be exact holds uh, I think these have 26,000 chickens per house this farmer has five houses and they're caught every 30 days so But anyways, guys, I said I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to put out as many videos as I can. There's a feed truck right there. That's what they haul the feed in for the chickens. It's also what they take it out with. But, uh, but yeah, uh, share this video. If you got kids, get them to subscribe. I'll, um, family is family friendly. But anyways, guys, y'all have a great one. I appreciate y'all watching this video. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next episode.